G'day, I'm Glenn Morris from the Smart Energy Lab, and today I'm at All Energy. I'm here with Peter Watkinson from, well, from everything. From, <laughs> from a few things now, yeah. yeah. Well, but you're going to learn more in a second. I'm going to really drill down on Peter. So why he's produced this excess product? Is it excess stock? No, it's no. not excess stock. <laughs> So uh, we really wanted to just bring a little bit of innovation to the off-grid space uh, and do something that just makes everyone's lives easier. So we kind of looked at over the last couple of years what we've seen in ARL and what we've learned in terms of, you know, the pain points with off-grid systems. And then we've taken all that, distilled it down and turned it into a product-based solution that is, I uh, guess, rid of all that, basically. So, and that's what uh, the XS1 is. So XS is the brand and the XS1 is our first, first uh, iteration of this journey. Cool. Well, let's yeah. dive into it. So Peter, this is it. What is it? So the XS1 is a super capable off-grid solution. So we've got uh, 10 kilowatts roughly of PV input, uh, oversizable up to about 15 uh, with two modules and 10 kilowatts of AC grid forming inverter. And your switch gear and fusing all the way up the top to make life easy. So you don't have to actually think about what the hell you have to do when you're putting it in. Cool. Um, so yeah, which is pretty wild, uh, and it's all modular and all redundant. So gone are the days where you get a call on Christmas Eve saying my inverter's beeping and we have no power. Uh, because what that looks like with Access is a if there's an issue with an inverter module, the customer gets a notification on the app that basically says uh, reduced AC power. Please contact your service technician. And Christmas isn't ruined. So. That's a pretty big difference. It's just a better form factor in terms of, you know, what Telco perfected it 10 years ago. Off-grid should have adopted it five years ago, uh, but now we're bringing it to market with access. Right. So let's go from bottom to top, actually. Yep. Down the bottom here, it looks very much like your rack-mounted ARLs. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to come down and have a little look at those. So we've got our uh, SRX. They're under a different name for XS, but our basically, what is our SRX modules at ARL? So these are our 600 volt input, 4.6 kilowatt MPBTs. So 600 volt, just like a regular string inverter. Yeah, that's right. Single string MPBTs. It makes it super easy. No string fusing, nothing like that. Literally up the top section, you're just plugging in the MC4s into the pretty wide isolators. So you've got a backplane inside there with all the dc on it yeah pretty much and, and what sort of voltage is it running at it's a 48 volt backplane right okay. so you can utilize your favorite 48 volt battery with the excess product it's basically bolt this or hang this on the wall uh drop a cabinet in wire in your batteries wire in your ac and you're good to go no. so you said these are modular you mean you can pop them out yeah you can so they just come clean on out Whoa, look at that. Yeah. So say someone wanted a small system, they could put just one in? That's right. So you can basically start with, you know, five kilowatts of PV and five kilowatts of AC. And as customer load requirements change over time, you can whack some additional modules in. Someone's constantly hitting the upper limits, whack additional module in and you're good to go. You don't have to change the inverter. Now let's move up to what's this little square box? This little square box is our 2.5 kilowatt modular inverter platform. This is a double AC conversion inverter, basically meaning we can take in a nice generator input and double rectify it. So clean it up so you get, you know, you can have a dirty generator, but you have clean power and they are good for basically anything you want to throw at them. They are a highly reliable product and will do the job very nicely in an off-grid application. So you can put four of these 2.5 modules in there. Yeah. I guess you need two to start with. Is that what you're suggesting? Yeah, two is probably good. Like 2.5 kilowatts, you know, unless it's a tiny home, probably doesn't make a lot of sense. But five kilowatts up to 10 is sort of what we generally recommend. Now, if someone wants to upgrade, do they have to call a service technician in to sort of upgrade the system to two or three? So we generally recommend you just call your local installer. We have to put the system in. They can ship you out a new module or come out and install it themselves. But I mean, if they want to add another module, is, is that a service call? To be determined. Okay. Um, it depends on the installer, right? Technically, right. you you don't have to, but you know, it's it's one of those things. Yeah, just wondering what the modularity uh, implied. So could you have a failure in one of these units and still continue operating? Yeah, absolutely. So you basically, you've got, if you have the 10 kilowatt stack, you've got four levels of redundancy there. You're, you're only ever likely to lose capacity if you have an issue with a module, not power, which is a big step forward in off-grid. Right, so if you've got all four of the inverter modules, they're all pedaling together. Yes, that's right. But you can pull one of the pedalers out for a rest. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Live. They, they don't care. Um, right. So they're swappable. They are hot swappable. Wow. Yeah. That's cool. Now, up the top here, you said that's the uh, the connection points. Yep. But is there some sort of brains that manages all this? Yeah. So the um, so on the ARL side, the brain is called the Nexus, but in the XS, it's got a different name. But basically, that's our industrial comms platform is running the show. And that gives the end customer a really nice app 
Uh, they install our cool web interface so they can monitor the system from wherever and just keeps everything running as it should, basically. Right. Now, it's a very sleek looking unit, but do you have a lot of wires poking out the side and so it all looks like a, an octopus when you no. get Well, I mean, like, you can, but we don't recommend that. We've got rear entry ports you in do. the up section. Right. Um, so it, you can do super clean installs, which is awesome. I mean, that's one of the things that's so striking about it. It's such a beautiful looking piece of product. Yeah. So clean and simple. And when it's powered up, the X glows. Right. Which is like the cherry on top. <laughs> now, in terms of integration with uh, energy storage, what are your options? Out of the box, we've got a integration with BYD, Pylon Tech. We you know, recommend the Australian brands for self-managed. Right. Um, you know, put a cup cabinet of Power Plus next to it and you'd be happy days. Could you use lead acid? You could. Right. Um, I don't know why you would, but you could. Yeah, back to the steam age. <laughs> yeah. I'm just thinking, because you're pitching it for off-grid, yeah. it may well be off-grid systems that you could add one of these to. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely. Now, tell me about this new graphic battery down here. <laughs> ah, this is the uh, new stick-on graphite battery. It's very thin, um, high-power density. Solid state. Solid state, yeah. Even it's wireless, too. It's no wires.